Welcome back to my channel and Merry Christmas you guys. Everybody watching, guys, girls, Merry Christmas to each and every one of you. And first and foremost, I want to thank you for watching this. I know this has been a tough year for me, a tough year for you, a tough year for pretty much everybody. But that doesn't mean that we didn't have a good Christmas, or at least I hope so for each and every one of you. I know I had a great Christmas and I'm going to have this be a yearly thing when I come on the channel and I'm going to show you guys my Christmas horror haul every year. So this is my 2020 haul. All the horror related gifts I got this year. Now there's not a bunch so this will be a quicker video. Um, obviously I have two daughters and all of our attentions really went to them to give them a great Christmas. But nonetheless, I do have some really cool items in front of me that I think you guys are going to get a, definitely a kick out of. So let's slice right into this. Let's start things off with a little gift that my daughters got me this Christmas. Something super cool, super fun, and super cute. And I don't even say the word cute, but it's cute. A plush King Kong. Everybody knows I'm a huge King Kong fan. He's one of my favorite um, kaiju ever. And my daughter's got me this guy. This is a little K on his crown up there. Super cool. Super cute. Can't wait to add, uh, to add him to the collection. He will go in here somewhere when that time comes. Also, my wife got me something that I wanted at Spirit Halloween. And I'm sure you guys have heard in other videos or maybe seen me on other horror channels in the comments, Spirit of Halloween has been stepping their game up, it seems like, every year. And they always get um, cool stuff that it's like, man, I really want to have that in my collection, like the Camp Crystal Lake sign that I got over here, or the Krampus sign right over here. You know, they got some cool stuff. And uh, speaking of Christmas, and speaking of Krampus, my wife had gotten me this awesome Krampus-style mug with his horns being the handle. It says Krampus on the front. Big old mug. Really cool piece there, you guys. I love this mug. I love it so much that I don't think I want to drink out of it or use it. You know, I do have um, little kiddos in the house and I don't want it to get broken. And I don't typically drink out of mugs very often. So it's probably going to find its rightful place in the collection. Also, what do we have here? Um, if you guys follow me on Instagram, then you already know about this. But I'm going to show it off real quick anyway. The reflection's probably going to be a nightmare, but we're going to try it. Um, my wife also got me the Gremlins, um, the Winter Gremlins 2-pack. Um, I know there is another 2-pack, but this is the one of the two. The uh, Caroler Gremlins. Two of the four from NECA. Oh. That's super cool. I haven't even opened these guys yet because, like I said, I'm trying to redo the channel within the next few weeks. Um, hopefully, I'm going to have a whole new background because the, the light in here is always such a pain in the ass. So this whole wall is going to be redone. Less reflective things, more figures and stuff of that nature. So I love those gremlins. Uh, my wife has actually gotten me all my NECA gremlins, my Stripe, my Santa Stripe, and my Gremlin 2-pack. So speaking of my wife, and speaking of the aforementioned Instagram, if you follow me on Instagram, I was at Walmart and I came across this mega jumbo uh, Funko Pop for Chucky. And I ended up passing on it because I wanted to get some stuff for my kids. Well, unbeknownst to me, my wife went back because she's fucking awesome and she got it for me. This mega pop Chucky. Haven't even opened them yet. Cause I'm not sure where I'm gonna put them. Cause I'm redoing the I'm redoing the horror room. But look at the size of that fucker, man. Like, look at that. Boom. Like he's huge. Super, super cool. I love that. Anything child's play, Chucky. Come on. I love it, man. I love it, love it, love it. What else do we have here? Um ba, 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 ba. Yeah, let's do uh let's do this one next. Bear with me, you guys. I know it's it's I'm I'm also I'm I'm nursing a, a neck a neck injury and a back thing and it's late and this video's dude. Fuck on it. Alright guys, this is a, a gift that I bought myself for Christmas, so you could say, because it's something I've always wanted 
and I got it for an amazing deal, and it is one of my favorite characters of all time. Now, it's not technically horror. The first two movies are classified as action horrors, but it's not a horror. It's like a superhero comic book thing, but you know, these three movies in particular is Blade. Um, I can't even tell you my love for Blade, and I'm definitely going to cover, um, you know, at least Wesley Snipes related Blade content on the channel. So I have this 12 inch Blade figure. Comes with all kinds of sweet ass weapons. He's got his sword, the trench coat, shotgun, two handguns. He's got the the silver spikes that he keeps on his legs, just like in the movies. I am in love with this figure. He's definitely going up in the collection somewhere. I love this thing. I'm in love with it. Super glad to have it as a part of the collection. Now, getting down to my last few pieces here. I want to show you guys. Now, before I show you guys this next piece, I know I've already been asked this on the channel. And I know I'm going to be asked it more, which is cool. I don't mind. Uh, what was my first ever horror movie the first horror movie I ever saw honestly I had to talk to my parents about this one because I was so young I don't even remember uh, remember I have very early memories of Child's Play very early memories of Child's Play 2 very early memories of Friday the 13th part 9 very early memories of just weird random movies like Bleeders and some of the Puppet Master movies but my first ever horror movie I'm not sure but I was talking with my mom and I think we may know what it is it's a movie you probably don't know. It's called Trilogy of Terror. It was a movie that had three separate stories in it. Well, in one of the stories and the returning sequel, it had a Zuni warrior, uh, like a killer doll, long before Chucky. This came out in, like I think, the 70s. So this is the, I don't know if it's the first ever, but it's damn close to the first ever like killer doll ever on screen. And um, I pride myself on being big in research and I can find anything. People, you know, my my family has like a name for me, like Cliff the Sniff, you know, because I can always find stuff on the internet and stuff. Well, I got to tell you, my mom had found a prop for me that I've never seen before, didn't even know it existed, and my parents got this for me. So if you're familiar with the film, you're about to geek out. If you're not, it's still super cool. This is a one in only 500 made um, replica Zuni warrior statue of the killer doll from the film. Now this is also molded directly from the only surviving puppet from the film. So the specs are exact from the mold. Absolutely insane. I have number 294 out of 500. It's numbered there on the bottom. An amazing, amazing piece. Of course, he has his little spear that he holds in his hand. And um, this is definitely going in the uh, cases behind me. It's definitely a prized possession piece. Uh, and again, if you're familiar with the films, you're geeking out right now. And if you're not, well, go watch Trilogy of Terror because it's awesome. My first ever horror Film started everything. This channel, my love, my passions, my tattoos, this room, everything. All started with this guy. So we're gonna set him up back here. And hopefully, his ass don't start moving. Sorry about the reflection there. Now, my last couple pieces is from my brother John. My brother um, has spared no chance to give me copious amounts of shit for not having enough Michael Myers in a horror room. My brother is a big Michael Myers fan, and he's like, Mike, where the hell's your Michael Myers? He gives me shit all the time. The only Michael Myers I actually have in this room is on a collage poster for um, my In Search of Darkness I, um, documentary, 80s horror doc. And I put on a poster over here. And it's only about this big. Well, my brother saw to it this year that I did indeed add Michael Myers to my horror room. And I am absolutely enthralled that he did. And I'm so excited because he got me two super cool things. And they're both more than likely going to end up on this back wall for everyone to see 
in every video. So, the first thing my brother got me was this fucking amazing framed. It's a take on what the newspaper clipping may have been in Haddonfield the night of the Halloween massacre. Um, the night evil came home and it, it has like a little like um, description of what happened of the crime and everything like a true newspaper. They talk about the lone survivor, Laurie Strode. And then down here, an exclusive interview with uh, Michael Myers' psychiatrist of 15 years, Dr. Samuel Loomis. Super cool. And it's even, if you can see the edges, it's like faded and worn to look like an old newspaper clipping, and it all came framed. I didn't even ask him if he framed this himself, or I don't even know where he got this, but it is absolutely an amazing piece, and I cannot wait. It's definitely going to go on this wall within the coming weeks. So, last two things, you guys. My brother also made sure that I added a Michael Myers mask to my collection. Yep, that's right. And um, my favorite, my favorite, you guys, is Michael Myers 2018. Look at that. Look at that beauty. Beautiful mask. Absolutely stunning mask. I... When I opened it, I was just, I was blown away. And my brother even went the extra mile and got me a velvet head to go underneath for it to stand and also to blacken out his eyes. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful mask. Cannot wait to get it on display for you guys. I love this mask. Definitely one of the coolest things in this room. It makes me want to go back and watch all the Halloween films all over again because it's been a long time since I've seen him and uh, my brother kept giving me shit about you know not having Myers well no more so here is the 2018 Michael Myers mask my brother had gotten me absolutely stunning I love that we're going to put him back here as well and again I know you guys are probably used to a probably better quality in my videos, maybe a little more excitement, not so, you know, just, but you know what guys, hey, bear with me, um, you know, this was, this was a, this was a rushed, this was a rushed job, again, I'm nursing the injury, it's Sunday, you know, I gotta start up work again tomorrow, just a lot of stuff going on, I've been super busy with the holidays and Christmas and everything, but um, one more thing, my brother also wrapped all my gifts, <laughs> this is, this is so cool, he wrapped all my gifts in this, Good guys, wrapping paper. And I loved it so much that there was still some left. I asked him, you know, hey, man, can I have the roll? Because I'm going to do something with it for the whole room, even if I just leave it rolled, you know, whatever. But I'm going to do something with it. So that's super cool, you guys. That's pretty much everything I got this year uh, for Christmas that was horror-related. Again, most of it went to my kids and whatnot. But um, I hope each and every one of you had a great, great, great Christmas. And I really enjoy you guys watching this video. And most importantly about these collection videos, because I'm going to do these every year. It's not about me and showing off my shit. It's about all of us showing off all of our shit. So feel free to find me on Instagram right there. That is my Instagram handle. You can send me pictures. We can talk. You can request videos. Anything you want, um, that is the place to do it. But in the comment section down below, tell me what you guys got for your 2020 Christmas Horror Haul because I really do want to know. I've been watching Horror Room collection videos and Horror Hauls on YouTube back when YouTube first became a thing. I am generally into this stuff and it's not about me, it's about all of us. So thank you guys so very much for watching. I appreciate it. Comments, thoughts down below. Subscribe if you like this kind of content. January is going to be all new stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed my four Christmas horror videos. This is number four, wrapping it up for 2020. So thank you guys so very much. I'll see you all in the new year. And don't forget that this is my design.